Another NixOS video, this one was number 82, and it's called Upgrading a NixOS Service to Unstable Using Flakes. As an example, we're going to use Pipewire as a service to upgrade. A link to the talkie script I'm using to produce this video will be in the description. NixOS services are components of the operating system that encapsulate build information about the software required to run the service, information about how to start and stop processes related to that software, information about how to manage configuration files related to that software, and other OS tweaks like new UDEV rules and other stuff. The services are usually configured in NixOS via a services.foo attribute set, and the options within the attribute set related to a service differ per service. So we can see that NixOS has a lot of services. One of the services that can be configured in NixOS is, is Pipewire. By default, NixOS uses Pipewire for audio playback and recording. Pipewire is a complex piece of software. It can emulate the API of three major Linux standards for interfacing audio software to hardware. Uh, those are also Pulse Audio and Jack. It's bound to have bugs. It's a complex piece of software. So what if we run into a bug in the version of Pipewire that shipped with the stable version of NixOS, which is 23.11 as of this writing. It would be nice if we could upgrade it easily to a newer version that doesn't have the issue that we run into, right? A while back, I made a video entitled Mixing Older and Newer Nix Packages Packages <laughs> Under a Flakes-Based Config. It described how to use some software from uh, NixOS Unstable within an install of NixOS 23.11, but it didn't cover services. Uh, the video is useful if you want to know how to start using like a newer version of, let's say, OBS Studio or something like that. Some, some application, an end user application that has some finite start and end time controlled by you. The Pipewire isn't just an application that a normal user starts up and shuts down. It's a set of things, including instructions for starting some processes at boot time and user login time and a set of rules about configuration file composition and a set of UDEV rules and various API services that other applications talk to during their, their own shorter left times. It's more than an application that's, it's, well, it's, well, it's a service. So we know that we can use a newer version of a Nix package. We can also do the same for many services. To demonstrate how we might work around some theoretical bug in a release of Pipewire that we're stuck with because we're on a stable version of NixOS, let's try to use the version of Pipewire from NixOS Unstable instead. In this video, I'm gonna assume that you're already using Nix Flakes, and I will assume that you've used them for more than, say, 20 minutes or so. If you aren't using Flakes and you haven't been using them for a while, my apologies, but you might wanna take a look at a couple of my older videos that tell you how and why you might want to start using them to configure NixOS. One is NixOS number 40, which is called Converting an Existing NixOS Configuration to Flakes. Another one is called NixOS number 63, Install NixOS 2311 and Use Flakes Out of the Box. Links to these videos will be available in the talkie script related to this video. I should tell you that the method that I'm about to use doesn't work for every NixOS service. There are hundreds of them, but it does work for many of them, and it definitely works for Pipewire. So the NixOS Pipewire service is configured via settings within the services Pipewire attribute set. The default services Pipewire attribute set that NixOS produces during its install looks something like this. Uh, services Pipewire, enable equal true, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. What we're telling Pipewire to do here is enable yourself, emulate also, emulate pulse, emulate jack, please, thank you. There are a number of other sound related features uh, in the default NixOS config, sound enable equal true, hardware pulse audio enable equals false, security RT kit enable equal true. These really have no effect on Pipewire. Uh, the sound enable bit is required by pulse audio. It's ignored by Pipewire. Unless you really know what you're doing, enabling both pulse audio and Pipewire would, would be hilarious. So they're, they're kind of mutually exclusive, at least for any consumer use. And if you're concerned about low latency recording, then you probably want to enable RT kit. But otherwise, we don't care about that stuff. We're just concerned about Pipewire at the moment. I'm going to presume that we're configuring a system that's set up with a NixOS flake that tells NixOS that it should run NixOS 2311. I'm going to reuse some tricks that we used in one of my prior videos called Mixing Older and Newer Nix Packages Packages Under a Flake Space Config. You should go watch it um, to add an additional input for NixOS Unstable. We added nixpackagesunstable.url to our inputs list and put nixpackagesunstable in the arguments list to our outputs function. Okay, we also need to make some changes to our configuration.nix. To make this accept, 
Next package is unstable. Add a let in stanza that defines something we will use later. We're defining packages unstable as an import of next packages unstable. Use packages unstable in just a second. I also have to pass in system. I also have to accept system rather. So the last thing I'm going to do in order to get pipe wire upgraded is to add package equals packages unstable pipe wire. So we are adding a value services.pipewire.package and we are giving it the value packages unstable pipe wire. And inside of the build logic for the pipe wire package, it explicitly pays attention to this attribute to use as the software version of pipe wire that it uses under the hood when it does all its UDEV rules and configuration files and all that stuff. This is the this is the version of software it wants to use for the actual pipe wire stuff. I am also going to add a little bit of hair to our configuration next so that we can better see changes that are being made to our system when we run NixOS rebuild switch. By, de by default, it, it's it's pretty cagey about what it does and we want it to want to shed some light on it. All right, let's take a look at the version of Pipewire be before we do the upgrade. The Pipewire 101. So let's try to rebuild now that we've, now that we've told our configuration to try to use the Pipewire version from Nix Packages Unstable, I will rebuild. So taking a look at the result of Nixos Rebuild, we can see that it didn't just upgrade, you know, a single package, the Pipewire package. It, it actually upgraded all the dependencies of Pipewire too. We see that it changed some dependency versions here. It also added some dependency versions. All these aren't direct dependencies of Pipewire. Uh, some of these dependencies just came along for the ride because we are getting the quote unquote closure of all the dependencies of Pipewire that are in unstable, meaning that we are getting Pipewire's dependencies and the dependencies of Pipewire's dependencies and their dependencies, et cetera, et cetera. That's the closure. Pipewire almost certainly doesn't need a newer version of Bash, for example. Something, some, one of its dependencies wanted some specific version of Bash. But all the versions of, of the things that it is pulling down are from Nix packages unstable and they are being put into our Nix store, even though we are on Nix OS 2311. Uh, because Nix allows more than one version of library or, or any package to be installed on the system at the same time, we're able to install a new version of Pipewire and it's and it's seemingly hundreds of dependencies without concern that it's gonna break other applications on the system. We are gonna replace the entire working Pipewire subsystem with another entirely working Pipewire sub, sub, subsystem. That's, that's what we've just done. So does it still work? still works. <laughs> ah, it's funny. Okay. Trust me when I say that it, it really does work. I, I, it's not just a hangover from the system still using the old version of Pipewire. I, I did reboot it at some point and it, it worked fine. We were able to upgrade this service with effectively one meaningful line of configuration, which was, which was package equal packages unstable Pipewire there. All the rest of it was just to be able to get to that point. There is an ulterior motive to me making this video, which uh, I had a conversation with, with my friend Trace today. He is, I would say, rightly skeptical of, of using Nix and Nix OS um, for anything but enterprise stuff. Now I use it. I use it for everything. I use it at home. Um, he is serially unconvinced why I would want to use it. <laughs> he, he, he uses Debian Unstable for lots of things. And I can hear his voice in my head at, at this point saying, but Chris, sir, look, you're telling me one line of configuration can solve all my problems. We both know this isn't true. We've been doing this for a long time and he's right. He, I can hear him saying, what if the bug I've encountered isn't fixed in a version of Pipewire packaged by NixOS? Like, let's say, let's say the fix hasn't even made it into Pipewire release yet, or maybe it's in a, like a release so new 
that even NixOS Unstable doesn't have it yet. And then he would say, meanwhile, this Nix stuff, it's hard and weird. Uh, you know, I might as well let's be running Arch. And he's right. Uh, Nix is hard and it's weird. And it's totally understandable and righteous that people bounce off of it for these reasons. And I am deeply suspicious of people who tell me that arbitrarily hard problems can be solved with a one-line change to a config file. Two, NixOS is hard, and its quirky language syntax doesn't at all help the case against it being weird. But what I found is that much of what makes it hard isn't really the language. Obviously, the problem it's trying to solve is hard, and the my problem isn't fixed in a version packaged by NixOS case. NixOS does a pretty good job of going the extra mile to try to help you solve the problem. So what is, what is this? What does this mean? Package equal packages unstable pipeware. What is this nonsense? Packages unstable pipeware is this file. It is default.nix. This is the set of instructions required to build the software portion of the pipeware service. You're right, it's weird, it's hard, my feet stink, I don't love Jesus, all those things. I, I get it, yes. But my argument is the bundling of instructions about how to build these packages is valuable. Uh, add a patch. Change the version number or git tag used to build the source. Change the features that are enabled or disabled when it, while it builds. And change the version of a dependency. This is an implicit thing because the versions of the dependencies used by Pipewire in this circumstance are the, are the dependencies that are in this branch of Nix packages. So let's say that you've prepared a patch to some tagged version of Pipewire available from GitLab. And let's say that we want to use that version of Pipewire within NixOS. We can change Nix packages default Nix such that it includes the patch. Then we can change the version number of the version of Pipewire downloads from GitLab. Then if we fork Nix packages on GitHub and we apply the changes we made to Pipewire's default on Nix, let's say we added a patch, we can then just use a result like any other flake input. So instead of Nix packages unstable, uh, URL and the eventual services pipewire package equals Nix equals packages unstable pipewire. We would do Nix packages pipewire fix and point it at a fork of Nix packages that has our new changes in it. And then we would point the package of services pipewire at packages pipewire fix dot pipewire. We will have presumably fixed pipewire. We'll, we'll have a way to repeat the fix build and a, and a pretty good idea about, about how to manage future changes to the build. Uh, we'll also have a mechanism to contribute the fix to Pipeware upstream. Anyway, I think all this is compelling, uh, and I think it's, a, it's, a, it's one of the reasons, there are others, <laughs> uh, it's one of the reasons I think Nix is worth using despite a distaste for the language. That was for Trace. Maybe it'll move someone else. Thanks for watching.